Can you hear me, Steph? Good. Yes, sir, yeah. I can. What, uh, what's the feeling like, obviously, losing the third straight one at home? What, what's the feeling like for this one? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's not a good feeling. Everybody wants to win. Uh, we played a great team, and, um, you know, we just got to come out and uh, prepare for the next one. Uh, it's football. Uh, things happen. And so, you know, obviously, it's not a great feeling, but, uh, you know, it's life. What, what, what kind of went wrong tonight? Uh, I mean, we go, we're going to go in and really uh, see the mom and watch film, or I'm sorry, uh, Monday we watch film. But uh, like I said, we had some self-inflicted wounds, but, you know, uh, we just got to clean some stuff up uh, and get back rolling. How, how do you do that at this point? How, you know, three and four, and obviously the division, you know, you're looking at the division standings now to a couple teams. I mean, how, how do you try to turn this thing around and get it rolling again, like you said? I mean, like I said, football, you know, it's football, it's life. Like anything can happen. We have a bye week coming in. So, you know, just work hard this bye week and, uh, you know, just keep playing, keep grinding. You know, we love the process and, you know, try to just stay focused on the process of getting better. And final one for me, I mean, when Air Force is holding the ball for so long like they are and you don't get as many possessions, I mean, how important is it to take advantage of your possessions and score on offense and a couple of those drives where you guys had to punt? I mean, it, you start playing from behind. How hard is it to come back against a team like that? I mean, yeah, we knew that coming in, that they would hold the ball, um, just how their offense is ran, how it's been ran. So we knew it was important to uh, try to make the most of our opportunities. And like I said, we had some self-inflicted wounds that, you know, we're just going to go back and fix. Uh, and, of course, of, you know, this week and, and our bye week as well. And But, yeah, it, it is important to, uh, to make the most of those opportunities, especially with a team like that, you know, that holds the ball and runs the timeout. And we kind of knew that. So, you know, just some stuff to clean up, like I said. Steph, I know you're still kind of reflecting. I mean, the, the game just ended, but it, it seems at times this year the offense looks good and then it just goes dry for a little while. What, what is there any like a common thread there that uh, seems to hold you guys up at times? Um, it's just the small things. Um, you know, uh, we just had a few like, you know, holding penalties or some, you know, just stuff like that that we just got to clean up and, uh, like I said, you just, like you said, you know, the game just ended, so it's not much I really know off the top of my head. But when we watch the film, you know, we see just some things that, you know, to fix, that we could fix and, you know, make better for us to be a better team and be more productive, uh, more consistently. This this feeling is going to sit with you guys for a little bit as you go into the bye. How, how do you guys approach the bye? You said you're going to be watching film on Monday. I mean, a couple of days away, or how do you approach the bye? I mean, you know, it's football. We've been playing football, or I've been playing football my whole life. Uh, you know, like people say, you know, the sun's going to come up tomorrow. Um, it's, it, it is going to hurt. You know, nobody likes uh, losing. But, you know, we kind of just move on. We, we grind, and we focus on the process, you know, of getting better and uh, trying to keep going with this season. What was going through your mind when Riley gets that onside kick? Uh, I mean, I, I was uh, uh, excited and, you know, Happy, you know, just ready to get another uh, opportunity going, you know, make a play, try to tie the thing up. Steph, appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. For those of us, uh, you know, that are outside the program, we don't always know, um, you know, who's going to be in here before the game. So did you know that you, know, you were going to have seven players out going into this game and were you able to prepare for it all week or was it kind of you were hoping maybe you'd get like Cyrus or George back? Uh, you know, football is a physical sport, so we just always make sure we have people ready. Um, and, you know, I have trust in everybody that's on this team. So when somebody goes down, you know, uh, we want them to come back uh, as fast as possible. But, you know, always ready to uh, – I always had a faith and a trust in the next person coming up. You know, how much do you think the shuffling on the offensive line and the injuries have affected, you know, kind of the consistency of the offense this season? Obviously, we saw towards the end there that Will Farrow went down and Dante Harrington had to come back in at center. So how much is that shuffling kind of affecting the, the consistency of the offense? Uh, I don't think um, shuffling is, kind of, is uh, messing up any consistency. Like I said, I have uh, the trust in all my players. Uh, so when Dante went in, I didn't even, you know, I just played the game normally. I didn't, you know, uh, he's a great player. And anybody else that comes in, I, I have trust in them. I think they're a great player. So I don't think it really, that really has anything to do with the consistency or anything like that. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Steph, appreciate the time. Thanks very much. Thank you.